Hi, everybody. It's Tuesday and time for Paint Talk. We are going to wrap up this painting, I believe. that we. This is the one we're giving away on Christmas Eve. So in order to be entered, this is not done. I'm getting ready to add some more trees. We had a big white church here, and I totally changed it. It's kind of a cross between a barn and a church. So um, I will tell you more about the details on how you could win this paint that we are naming. Gianna Lynn, how are you? Um, how you could actually win it if you're here Christmas Eve. Matt and I want a gift. The gift we is what we're calling it. Tomorrow. You have to be here tomorrow. You have to just stop by at least tomorrow. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi, Fiona and Lolly and Donna and Lisa. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, so you can tell I changed it from last night. And uh, Kathleen Nolan and Kim. Hi, Carol Ann. Okay. So... There was a big white church. I didn't like it. I couldn't decide if I wanted a barn or a church. So I made it an old church turned into a barn because you can't tell, tear down a church, right? So they painted it red is the way I'm the way that I'm treating it because so many of us were like church, barn, church, barn. So I made it both because in a, in, in a small town in the country on top of the hill, you can have whatever you want. That's the way I decided. So um, I'm going to actually add in some more trees here and maybe fill in a few more in the background. Um, but it's coming along. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, if you show up tomorrow and say, me, you'll be entered to win this painting that we're going to give away. We're going to draw a name on Christmas Eve. So again, you have to be here on Christmas Eve. You don't have to be here the whole time. I understand Christmas Eve is one of those those times we're not sure, but we also thought we'd go ahead and come on. It's going to be quiet for us. It's going to be quiet for a lot of other families. And so we thought we might do something different. So this is 24 by 24 and um, a mixed marquee with letter, pre no, with prairie gray. And I got this kind of worn barn color and then um, added in some, a little bit of the marquee and just decided that this might have been an old church and now it's a barn and you just you can't take down the, I don't know I just thought we would we would go that direction so um hi mama thank you it makes my heart happy Carol 100% it makes my heart happy yesterday you guys on YouTube donated $80 for the shipping that totally covers this but then Mr. Derek came in and donated more so um I think what we're going to do on Christmas Eve is we're going to give away more than one prize so we're going to give away the painting, but because of Derek contributing what he did, that opens up a whole nother world for shipping. So um, I think we're going to give away some brushes on Christmas Eve too. What? Yes, I didn't even tell you yet. I told you that Derek contributed shipping. Derek's a good dude. He contributes to every one of our shipping things. He's incredible. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to give away more than just the painting. I added two red cardinals. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I changed it from the big white church to the big red barn, big red barn church, because I can. So there's two little cardinals on there as well. And I'm going to add some more trees. So I'm going to add a bigger one here, a smaller one, and then a really tiny one back over there. And then I just might add some more of the sticks and branches, maybe Maybe an old fence. I don't know. Let's do that tonight, though, okay? Um, so, you love the red cardinals? Thank you, Kathy. Um, yes, thank you to Mr. Derek. Everybody tell him thank you. So, we're going to give away brushes on Christmas Eve, too. But in order to win this painting, you do have to come by tomorrow and say me. So, I will go through the list. Guys, just y'all can stop now. Carrie Carter just won the painting. She said, um, hello, hashtag Matt the Great. Please, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Hey, Carrie just won. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Ah, Carrie said Matt the Great, and that's all it did for him. I love oh, it, Carrie yeah. Carter. I'm going to pinch you next time. I keep saying I'm going to pinch you. You're rotten. Okay. Rotten Carrie. All right, I'm going to get my tree colors. We're going to add in three more trees and a little bit of haze i want and maybe one will have up on the top of the hill um i might put a sled somewhere in here i don't know it's like an abandoned church thing barn thing okay <laughs> lolly's using big words again lolly's using big words lolly don't do that to us 
apropos, apropos. Okay, let me get my fan brush. Uh, oh, she said there's a light, slight glow above the birch. Very apropos. Oh. I think I said that right. Lolly, what does that mean? So I am not going to set my paints down on this tray because the other day we had a catastrophe. You have, you guys have to know this. Did you not tell them? No, forgot. So I had four of these jars sitting on this tray right here, but it's kind of balanced by the weight. And I'm just blah, 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 blah. And they both went. Whoosh. And I was like all over my clothes, ruined my new shirt. Cause you know, so I made a huge mess all over. And all of a sudden I hear Holden go, mom, look at me. And I look at him and he has white paint hanging from his face. Mm. <laughs> it was bad. Then I was mad. Ruined my shirt, ruined my pants, and then I scooped with a spoon. I said, Matt, get me a spoon. I'm scooping up this DIY paint. I did, didn't I, babe? You did. You did a nice job. I had a spoon I went and got from the kitchen. Yes. And we're right. just lapping it up all off the floor. Yeah, I was like, I'm not wasting this DIY paint. Go, okay, you... apropos is appropriate in French. So when you appropriate say... glow above the church. So when you saying. say it, you have to say it in a French, a French accent. But you always say it in so angrily. But like your voice is so weird. French you... accent. No, they don't do that, babe. Oui, oui. That's in the movies and you're like Ratatouille. I know. You, you that love that movie. My, that is my focus when we do French. Can I help you? Yes. Hello. Child. Come on in. We're, 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 we're doing our live. <laughs> You'll do one. <laughs> we didn't spoon his face, Tasha. There wasn't that much on there. We just got that off. No, but it was too funny because I was just looking at my leg and the drop cloth and everything. And he goes, because he, he just came in. He just got back from his drive. So he was telling me all about it. He's like, Mom, look at my face. And I look at him. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. He's a good sport. He was a good sport. He's like, no problem. No problem. He's, he's uh, totally fine. Uh, so I'm liking the direction. I, I really struggled with the church, you guys. I uh, couldn't get the angle right, um, but I just was thinking this was an old church and you can't tear down an old church. And so they just turned it into a barn, kept the cross on it, and it can be what you want it to be. But it can be kind of a, a church overgrown. And so I was going to add in some sticks. Some sticks. Some sticks. Uh, do you have a name for this yet? I thought you said it. The gift. The gift, that's right. Since we're giving it away Christmas Eve, I just thought we would call it the gift. And then we'll give away some brushes thanks to Derek with all the extra shipping money. Thank you, Karen. Holden is a sweet young man. He really is. He is very sweet. He still hugs me and kisses the top of my head when he goes to school, even when I'm nagging him to hurry, hurry, you're going to be late, hurry. Wow. We all know Holden has one speed. Thanks, Carol Ann. Do you love the barn church? <laughs> I think it's a really good compromise. Thanks, baby. It's just, I mean, I'm just saying. You can say it more than once because it makes me happy when you say that. I'm just saying. Okay. So I'm not sure if I need more. I really have to finish these. Da, 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 da. So are you doing some more? I'm just I, I think playing. it's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's I'm a good idea playing. to kind of okay, mix it in. Overgrown. In a forest of. It's not a forest, baby. It's in the plains of mountains. So I have something. I have a big announcement, you guys. Oh, goodness. What a big announcement. Give away brushes. Give them away paint. Yes, give them let's away give away stuff. Painting. I love it. It's so, like a giveaway show. because of the circumstances, of course, with COVID and the lockdowns, I haven't got to plan a in-person class. And I love in-person classes, but I can't do one right now. And so we're just kind of holding off before we schedule. But 2021, I'd love to travel and come see you guys. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a virtual class. So Debbie and I are going to get together and do an online virtual class. So everybody's invited. Uh, Betty would like to know, is there anything that they have to do for the brushes? 
Nope, we're just gonna draw. So we're just gonna draw. If you're here, Christmas Eve, you're, you're here. and your name's in the bowl, which That's means right. you came by on Wednesday also. Uh, but the virtual class, guys, we Debbie and I are going to go to Windmill Vintage in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, we're gonna have Melanie, who's one of our retailers, join us. So the three of us will be together, and nobody else will be there. And we are going to paint live and do basically. The same thing that we do in person and everybody can come and it's only going to be $47. So it's a great, great price point. If you're local, we are going to do a VIP event or even if you're not, we're going to do a VIP event, but it's only going to have eight people. So that's going to sell out pretty quickly because uh, obviously there's only eight people. So, Ms. Karen Brown, I know you're in Albuquerque, but the virtual class will be available to anyone and everyone. And I'm super pumped because that means I get to see Debbie and get to see Melanie. I haven't seen Melanie in three and a half years, and I get to go somewhere I haven't been. So that's going to be January 30th. January January 30th. 30th. So coming up soon, guys. Online class. We're all three going to paint furniture. With Tips. Melanie. Whitaker. Dion and Debbie. Yep. Is that correct? Will, will yes. Kenise be there? Kenise is definitely going to be there. We'll be our MC. She's going to, uh, we're going to do it just the same. She'll read the questions, um, have interview questions. And because it's live, everybody will be able to ask questions as we go. Uh, so, the, okay. So this would be similar like kind of what we're doing now, right? Like this moment, they can ask questions. They can be a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. It was just gonna be so it's not like a Zoom call. No, it's gonna be a private group on Facebook. We'll put everybody in it and we'll stream live and then you'll be in there. It'll stay up for for as long as you guys are watching, it'll stay up. It's not gonna go anywhere. You can ask questions. I'll be in there. You can tag us with your questions about the paint. But we're gonna go virtual because we still know in our heart that we should be teaching. And uh that's where we're going next, guys. I think it's a good idea. I interviewed Lynn Brundage, honey, this morning um, on the journal spotlight on the journal page on Facebook. Okay. Lynn has such a great story and her store is right out of a hallmark. So if you guys haven't seen that on the, the journal Facebook page, let me just tell you that Miss Lynn, her store has music going around outside along like the, the street, main street. And it is literally like they just, plucked her store out of a Hallmark movie. She walked outside and I said, oh, as if you couldn't get any more charming. Is that Christmas music I hear? Oh yes, normally they have a parade of floats, Christmas floats going through the street. She said she was born and raised there. And the beauty of her store, uh, it's in Medina, New York, upper, upper New York, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, the store where her location is right now, her husband's great grandfather used to own the hardware store for the town. And then, so when he got older, her husband's dad bought it. And then her husband actually managed it into the eighties before they sold the business when the big box chain stores came in. And now 40 years later, they have their own store in the same building and it's the oldest building in town. No, I'm telling you, it's the greatest story. Shut your face. That is not true. You're so much trouble. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing at yourself because I'm not laughing. <laughs> you're on your own now. I'm on my own. What? Yeah, you're on your own now. You've good done made me mad. I did not. Make yes, you me. did. I was trying to tell you I a good story, and then all you did was make fun of me. I did not. I was, I was trying. You said shut your mouth or shut no. the front door or something dumb. <laughs> wow, sensitive. Jeez. Sensitive. It was a really good thing and I was actually wishing that you would watch it. Um, Lynn is, like I said, she's the shop owner. Her business name is Ellen J. Goods. I'm just using the corner of this, you guys, just to kind of add in some branches. 
and then we'll get some color in here and cover it in with snow. Okay, remember um, I was working on trees the other day because that lady that messaged me was so cruel to me that I thought, well, maybe I need to be doing something a little differently. So I am. Cheryl has seen, uh, she says, I have seen a tour of her store and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was just so beautiful. Matt has no idea what he's missing. Alice? I am an electrician. We own an electrical company, which is just Matt, that um, he doesn't run trucks or anything. But it's called Old School Electric, which is why he's such a fan of that color. <laughs> so he wears a shirt and hat every day that says Old School Electric. So this is Monet's garden. And I'm going to have my colors get lighter as I work my way up. So I changed from the white church because I just, I couldn't get it to look right, the shape of it. Uh, Pam, Dion, will it come out later to purchase for the class here in Albuquerque? Yep, it'll be out probably by tomorrow, the, class, the tickets. I've got it already on my website, but I have it hid from you guys um, until we can get it all set up. But the VIP tickets, they will be, like I said, there's going to be eight people per class per per session for the vip but we're going to have one at one time and another at another time so these 16 total tickets for the vip event which will be the night before the meet and greet um but you know it's obviously a very very small group and then the virtual class will be saturday the 30th and tickets i'm hoping to get them available um tomorrow I really was hoping today, but that just didn't happen. And now I'm going to grab Fancy Farm Girl. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Matt had to leave. Holden was asking for him. So the VIP is in person. Yes, Lisa. The VIP is an actual event with only eight tickets per session. So eight people can come to the first VIP event. And then an hour later will be the second session of another eight people. So in, um, six, so, excuse me, 16 total. Um, but of course you'll get, um, are you going to give one class away? How about people that have birthdays three days after Christmas? Wow, Crystal, that's a great idea. Uh, yep, Karen Brown is right there by Windmill. Yes, that's where she gets her paint. Um, yep, that's Karen Brown's area. Thank you, Tammy. How are you? You've been shocked too many times, Matt. <laughs> He's so angry. Dion, will it come out later? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would someone send you a nasty letter? Missy, she sent me a direct message and told me what she thought my trees looked like. Just saying, Meg, but that's okay because all I did was decide that I needed to really work on my trees. Maybe she had something going there, um, so it's all right. Um, at the same time, as soon as I opened her message, I turned around and opened someone else's message who told me she had not painted ever in her entire life. And she sent me a picture of the painting that she had done by watching me do these paintings that we've been doing the last couple of weeks. And she was so inspired and so like in all she wanted to do was paint and she it was just the sweetest message. And so I thought that was a really nice trade and I'll take that any day. And you guys are so lovely to send me messages or reply to my emails all the time. So we'll just do little little things over here. Everything all right, Matthew Woods? Mm -hmm. Did you say yes? Mm -hmm. What time is it? 8 for you. Okay. All right. So I am just kind of adding in some fun stuff. We have big plans to get our bedroom painted after Christmas, so 
You just hang tight, peeps. We've got the paint. We finished the bathroom. Huh, Woodsy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tomorrow they come on. They say, me, we're going to go through the list, make, you know, write everybody down, draw their names, put everybody in a bowl, and then Christmas Eve, we'll say, all right, here we go, right? Yes. Were you listening at all? Nope. What, are, what is it you're doing right now? Uh, I'm reading comments. Oh, so I was asking you something. Okay. Yes, they come on, they say me, or hi, or hello, or put me in, or put me in coach um and then and then we get their names in a bowl and then we draw on christmas eve we're going to draw names for some free brushes and we're going to draw a name for this painting here here do you have to be in the united states to, to win to win you can be in the United States or Canada. This time I only shipped to United States and as of this week to Canada. So I apologize for that. Um, I don't know what to do other than that for it. Um, One entry per person. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you can, you can comment all you'd like, uh, but when we see your name and you're on, you make a comment, obviously we'll put your name in there now. That doesn't mean you can't have family members come on, I guess, and <laughs> do that. If that's yeah, but we're going to go on the honor system that you guys are going. Yes, do. we're definitely on the honor system. I don't, I don't see, foresee anybody cheating on here, Lolly. Do you? <laughs> oh, Lolly, he just called you out, girl. No, 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 no. Lolly's going to be watching. You know. Oh wait, was she the one asking? One inch? No, no, no. Oh. Not at all. Okay. I don't know if you guys are liking this, but I yeah, am liking, liking it. They're they really are? like the barn. Okay. I am liking you just, it. So. You just keep doing you. Do you. Yeah. All right. You do you. I shall. Heather Watson says, well, since Derek is paying for shipping, maybe an exception for Canada. This is true. We ship to Canada now. Oh yeah, we are going to ship to Canada. We I, ship to Canada, Heather. So um, we. I said we'll that. ship the painting to Canada or the U.S. Correct. So now that we're shipping to Canada, um, we have that set up. We had a painting go out yesterday to Canada, so <laughs> definitely. What I did say about D Derek was that I would also give away some brushes since he paid extra. Um, that I don't need all of what he gave us for the shipping. So I said, well, then we'll give away more stuff. Crystal Coral Marie Molina mm -hmm. says, next painting, beach and barn. You're brilliant. I keep telling you that you are super brilliant. She's very observant. She is very observant. And she... Um, Which, she's in all a, reality, every hat that we wear is beach and barn. I know. Matt's the same. Holden's the same. Shirts. I don't wear their shirts because they're they're a little bit more masculine than what I want to wear. But Holden does, and Matt does. Sharon Asher, using your brushes tonight. I love them. Oh, Sharon, honey, thank you, dear. Did you buy them at, at Monica's store? Thank you so much. I'm just playing, guys. I've got two red cardinals on here. I hope you guys are... Feeling inspired. I feel like there might be some peeps out doing some last minute shopping tonight. I don't know, but I kind of feel like they might be. It's highly possible. I think mm -hmm. it's a I think it's idea. a good possibility. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. But we're I think we're done. Yeah, you think you got it whipped? I think I think we're done. We've got a couple birthday gifts to get, but our Matt's stepmom's birthday is on Christmas Day. But I don't think we're going to see her, so. Sharon said she did. Okay, thank you for shopping with Miss Monica. Rob says Derek is awesome. He does so much for the turquoise family. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's he really always person. contributes. Always contributes. It's crazy mm -hmm. nice. Uh, Cheryl, or excuse me, Val, question. When is class in Albuquerque? 
January 30th is the VIP. Now we're not doing an in-person class. We're doing it virtually. The actual paint class will be all online. So anybody and everybody can take it. It's, um, I haven't done one of those in probably two years, I think. Um, but Debbie and I will be together at Melanie's store. So Melanie's a retailer of DIY paint and she'll of course have things available for you guys if you want to order, if you're going to take the class and you want to, to order through her, she can ship you the merchandise that way. Cool. Yeah, I'm very excited. Like I am really pumped to do a class again. I love in-person events. I love meeting you guys. And Lolly says, and Matt. She's giving away Matt. Tonight I might, sis. She might tonight. Tonight I might. She's pretty upset with me. I wrapped all the presents. <laughs> he he wrapped all of them but his own. And I offered to wrap he my did, own. Said, I you offered want, to wrap my he own. He said, do you want me to wrap my presents? I was like, no, I got it. I've just been so crazy busy today. I didn't plan on being this busy this week. I wasn't, that, I didn't set out to be this busy this week. Hello, Queen Allen. Hello, Miss Q. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I did already text her and sing to her in a text. Just saying. Matt, did you? I did not. <laughs> I did not sing to Miss Kawita. Don't say it like that. Kawita? Yeah, say it right. Kawita. 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 I, if I can't get your name right, I sure can't get her name right. This is true. We had the discussion, like an argument yesterday. I was like, would you please say my name correctly? And it, you Like 26 years later, I was, would love if you would just pronounce my name right. Well, <clears throat> well I've noticed that most people do not say your name right. Um, thank you, Matt and Dion. Happy birthday, Q. How old? She won't tell. 29, I believe. She actually posted today how old she was. She asked, where are the Cardinals, please? Val, they're right here. <clears throat> we'll sing. Wait. Here's one. And here's one. I haven't put the black beaker feet on them just yet, but I'm going to. Cool. All right. Sing, Matt and Dion. All right. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. No, sing real. You have a great voice. Why do you do that to yourself? This is my real voice. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday Thanks to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Quita. Quita. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. She says she's 52. You who, guys? She's 52. All right. So you don't have to call me back now, Q. I sang to you, so you don't have to. I want to make sure you heard me. It's the holiday season. All right. So right now I'm just playing. I am just playing. And Cheryl says, and many more. Mm -hmm. Many more, many more, many more. Okay, so what else do we need on this baby, guys? Help me out. Is there a door on the barn? Where Church. would the door go? Because it's actually, this piece goes out. Okay. And so there's an entrance on the right and an exit on the left. Maybe a stained glass window. In the barn. Uh-huh. Okay, where would I put a stained glass window? Like right here in the center? Yes. Should I put a wreath with a Christmas bow? Oh, no, yeah, a, cre a big old wreath. Well, I ask them because we're giving it away. I don't want to do what we would want to do. Ask them, should ask them, or I'm asking you, should we put a stained glass window with just like some color? Should we just put like an octagon style? Or should I put a Christmas wreath with a big red bow? But I didn't want it to Crystal necessarily. Crystal says be. yes, but I'm not sure if yes on the glass or yes on the wreath. 
or don't know about that crystal. There's no telling what she's thinking. Sharon, as she says, the top floor, you actually have a door for hay. This is true. But it's on the other side. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, okay. So remember, this used to be an old church, and they have painted it red, and now it's an old barn out in the country. Lots of wreaths. No wreath. Lots of wreath. 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 Stained glass window. Wreath. Okay, Matt, you tell me what has the most. Wreath uh, is, is taking it right now. Uh, stained glass. There's another one for stained glass. Are you doing Christmas or have it, have it year round? Uh, Rob Gloria, are you doing Christmas or have it up all year round? Well, that's that's what we would have to ask you guys. Oh, I see. I think if if they're going to, that's true. Good point. Hmm. I mean, I if for me, I wouldn't you have really this up year round. You really want it to be Christmas, though. Mm -mm. No, it's just, it's a winter scene, but that's, I kind of, since we're giving it away on Christmas Eve, it just kind of was sounded fun to do the wreath, but we don't, we don't have to. Wreath or barn quilt painting? Nope. That's too hard for me, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I would need if, to practice. If it's year round, I would say the stained glass. And Joanne would agree. Yep. Uh, Lolly would like to see a toothbrush and a white tiny splatter for snow. Val, yep. Val says stained glass all seasons. Janet would like to see some snowflakes. Okay, I am going to put. Um. Karen Brown sent me something. So let me put a little tiny star over here. Um, another kind of would like to see a fence and possibly maybe a cart in front of the barn. Tasha wants a cow, cow, cow. Girl, I don't do cows. <laughs> I need a different brush. I love the idea, but I can't do a cow. I'm doing a star. Sue Rose Black, maybe a pew outside. I think for me, it seems a little bit far for a pew. To see, it might not be able to tell what it is. Carson really likes it as it is. Thank you so much, dear. They're they're they're, they're liking the snow. Tasha says, "LOL, okay, okay, okay." Horse, horse, horse. Girl. I believe you've got the wrong artist. It ain't be horses either. Get this. Crystal Core Marine Marlene. When I was in third grade, I won a Carl Jr. draw, a farm contest. My artwork was featured in their happy star boxes. Everyone in my class for a free meal, and I got a $50 savings bond. That's pretty cool. You are so talented, Donna Myers. Thank you. Thank you, Splatter with Water Down Paint to make stars. Well, I wanted the one big star that wasn't going to work. Uh, but I'm worried I'm going to get too many, like, like that, if I do that. I don't want any, you know what I'm saying? Rohini Grant. Tom would like to see a border collie with one brown eye and one blue eye. I'm with Tom on this You one. give Tom a big hug for me and just tell him no. Yeah, we do love snow scenes and complain when it snows too much, right? I know. I want that little star to fade away. Uh, Debbie Winters Collins would like to see a bunny butt peeing from under a tree. Oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> like a little, little cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the ground chair.
Okay, hold on, guys. Elijah obviously doesn't know y'all can hear him singing. I don't know if you can. But he's really working that uh, that singing in there. Lolly says, if you splatter first away from the canvas, first canvas first, two brushes work really well. They do, yeah. Frozen up a little. Oh, you're, you're, you're frozen. Well, don't want to be frozen. Facebook's frozen. So, a stained glass or a wreath? Would they decide? Um, the the biggest thing I think was the wreath. Um, so I just then, put kind of a glowy star on there, and then, and some uh, in the, where the darkness is b b around the, the clouds. Okay. Um, Nancy says it really doesn't need a wreath or a window. It's pretty obvious. And I, I think I would agree with that. I don't think I would. I would add snow to it. I'll be honest with you, like falling snow. Snow to the painting? Yeah, like falling snow. Okay. Like, do you want me to splatter it? It's up to you. I mean, however you do snow. I, I don't do snow. You've done it before. You did it on the um, last painting. Well, on the last painting, what I did was I took my, um, this is what I did, my snow. Um, here, hand me that one right there, baby. My customer hasn't picked it up yet. The way I do my snow is that I wipe this in and then I just kind of go down the canvas. And that is how I got the textured snow look as if it were falling. So I just do this and I just kind of rub it on there like that. I'll splatter it, you guys. I'm totally up for it. So basically, you're done other than the snow, right? Yeah. I think I've got a toothbrush right here. So what are you going to do tomorrow night? Great question, guys. What are we going to do tomorrow? Christmas Eve Eve. Oh, I don't have a toothbrush. But I know I do. Because I've used a toothbrush for that before. Hold on. That they're saying you the toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Wow. Yeah, I, and I have one for that reason. Yeah, here it is. Don't worry, darlings. Don't worry, darlings. We've got this old toothbrush for a reason. My my brushes. How about icicles? That's a good idea. <laughs> Elijah knows y'all can hear him. I mean, maybe you can't, but he's really singing. Julia's here, and they they did their Christmas exchange tonight, and so we ordered pizza, and uh, we've been hanging out, and he's in there singing. Okay, no, don't spray. Wet the brush. That's what I want to do. I want to wet my brush. DIY paint is so thick, you guys. Oh, Abby's getting mad. I wonder what they're doing. Okay. Been a long time since I've done this. Let me do it once on the... Okay. It gets on the paintings behind me. Y'all are both grounded, everybody. They're all grounded. Oopsies. I'll get it closer, I promise. Matthew, how much snow do we want? I think just just kind of light, a light snow. I would I wouldn't think it would be too heavy. Okay. 
we'll do, we'll do some more. Hang on. Yeah, you're freezing up on Facebook. Really? Yeah. I am so sorry, guys. So we're doing some light snow. Are they eating again? Mm -hmm. My word, that's all they do. It's freezing up, they can still hear us. Cheryl, it's a birch. Bob uh, church. Oh, a church in a barn. Oh, yeah. I don't, um, since I'm painting it, I decided it can be whatever I wanted it to be. Um, so I decided it was a, it was a church and no one went there anymore and they turned it into an old barn. So I painted it red. And I want it to be with a different and unique. Rob would like to see a little bit of golden ticket somewhere. Really? I think in this rest of painting. Rob really likes the golden ticket. I think he does. I think I think Rob. I think Rob, Rob, do you wear gold? Do you like like do you wear it? And that's okay if you do. I mean, I'm trust me, I'm saying that you got a thing for gold. He likes shiny. Okay. Tammy says, thank you for entertaining me while I'm baking cookies. Oh, yes, girl. Mm -hmm. Well, Matt is quite entertaining. Uh, Kathleen notes that maybe gold, gold on the cross. Oh, I think the church barn is great. Thank you, Carol. I do too. I think it's pretty special, and nobody else has one. Uh, fresh hat, sister. Yo, Lance. Uh, thank you. And uh, as Crystal suggested, the next one should be beach. He said, "No, I'm not, Mr. T." didn't say that <laughs> okay so i think that's all the snow i'm gonna do can you see it guys rob lolly would like to know if you have gold plated faucets gold plated faucets um i will put some gold in there i am totally open other than that you'll need to grab it off the shelf for me babe do you mind and we are about to run out of water. My brush is drying out. Who wants to come wash my brush? Does anybody? I've got like 50 that need to be washed tonight. The big cross on the barn could be gold. That's what we'll do, Val. Why didn't anyone go to the church anymore? <coughs> was it because of no parking, Sue? Let's just say it was. That's why it's overgrown. They don't, they don't plow the drive anymore to the church. And the parking lot grew. That or the parking lot's they, on the other side the and you're looking at the back of the church. Oh, it totally could be. Um, but also decided that the um, since it's abandoned, it's just overgrown. Um, for example, like, you know, it could be like my mom's school. The town where she grew up in is no longer no town hall, no school, no nothing. So the churches there are even abandoned as well. Just a few houses. All right, so I'm taking golden ticket and I'm hitting this star up here. The star, not the star, the cross. Tell him to be quiet. He's fine. Lolly enjoys washing brushes. Oh girl, get on over here. I'm gonna put a little shimmer on these cardinals. Thank you, Kathleen. What did Kathleen say? She said, bless me. Bless you, Matt. I sneezed. I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Doesn't surprise me. Thank you, Heather. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit on my finger. And I'm going to rub a little on the ear. Carol sneezed. This is for you, Rob. Shimma, shimma, jimma. How about a birthday three days after New Year's for your fabulous and appreciated gift giveaway? Hint. <laughs> Who is that? That was uh, Carolyn Sneed Meyer. <laughs> I find washing brushes very relaxing. Lisa, I don't. Otherwise, I wouldn't have 20 waiting to be washed right now. It's like they're never ending, is it? And they're always in the laundry room on the counter. Mm. 
I'm going to put some on the heel right here. Oh, this Crystal is Cor nice. Marina says, I like your charm. My what? Charm. Church. And oh, you like your charm. Or Barch. Or Barch. Um, I think I like... I think I like charm better. So I'm putting a little bit of gold on these heels. Twinkle. If I wasn't going to name this one the gift, I would call it Silent Night, but I am going to call it the gift. So guys, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow other than we might just have to work on this piece of furniture. We'll be, um, you guys have got to pop on tomorrow and say me if you would like to be entered to win this. Um, and yes, you do have to be within the U.S. continental states or Canada to enter. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's not personal. I promise. This is absolutely incredible. And I want this as a gift. Aww. Oh, I wish I could give everybody one. Okay. So there's some a little bit of gold. I don't know if you guys can see. The cross now is gold. Uh, I-44, do you need to be present on Thursday night? Unfortunately, Unfortunately yes. Unfortunately, you do. You don't have to stick around the whole time, but you might come in towards the end. You know, I mean, I, I know it's you? hard because it's Christmas Eve, yeah. um, but the whole reason we were wanting to do this, guys, is because I know that Christmas is different for so many of us, and I have a special place for those of us that are going to be home on Christmas Eve when we are normally. Like, if this is normal, you're used to it, but for those of us that are not usually, and we're usually with our family and parents um, that are doing things a little bit different, this year, I just wanted to do something where we could still come together with this family. And so you do have to be present. Um, so it's nothing personal and definitely not take time away from your family to be here. Um, only one of you are going to win this painting. And um, like I said, we're going to give away some brushes as well because we had $80 contributed for the shipping of this. And um, Derek contributed, I'm not telling how much, but enough for me to ship several more gifts. So um, Rohini, thank you so much. Um, just, just know that um, if you're not in the US or Canada, it's not personal. When will the virtual class be announced? And we'll, there will not be a limit, Robert. It's $47 and I'll announce it as soon as I get it on. I was hoping to have it on today. I don't. I still need the graphics. I still need to work out some things. I talked to Melanie today for an hour and oh, or no family. That's right. Maybe, maybe you don't have any family at all. And so I just wanted to offer because we were going to be open to um, thought, well, we'll come on um, because we're going to be here. And we're not usually here, so we'll just come on and we'll we'll spend thirty minutes with you guys. We can spend we can spend Christmas Eve together. And Matt has a whole playlist full of songs that he's going to sing for you. I am. Mm. I will do it. I'm gonna get out the Bee Gees record. Uh, Delisa, I changed the painting from a white church to the barn earlier because I needed to do it without anyone watching me. I needed to focus. Um, and Matt actually. When he came, the last time he came in here, I was staring at it, staring at it, like with tears in my eyes. I was like, I, I, got, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do. And honey, when, by the time you saw it, it looked a lot different, didn't it? Yes. Like I built the snow up and did all of this and then put the barn in, but I don't look at pictures. And so I just had to kind of play with it. And I moved paint around. I sprayed. I had purple over here earlier. Um, and then I sprayed a little bit of our yellow that we have, our watered down yellow and warmed up the sky a little bit. So I think you guys were right with the with the toothbrush. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out tonight on Tuesday. I'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 Central Time. And I so hope you can be here. Um, no cell phone at Christmas Eve or Christmas. All right. Uh, maybe a computer. I don't know. Um, I would live in that barn, says Annette. What color is the barn? Delisa, I took 
um, Marquee and did I take Prairie Gray? No, I did not. I took, um, why can't I find it right now? Skeleton Key. I took Skeleton Key and Marquee and mixed it. And so it's that worn, the worn look. And then I left a little bit more of that red kind of showing there. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Have a great night. And I hope that you can have a wonderful Wednesday and come back tomorrow and tell me all about it. All right. See ya. See ya.